Hello again. Um, for this video, we'll be continuing off from the last video with the camera auto adjustment system. And for I've added another UI on the bottom right of the screen. This is to represent the right joystick for game gamepad. So right now I'm the movement, and as you can see, I'm not doing anything with my right stick. The camera is automatically adjusting, and and see if I'm using the right stick, it's uh, moving accordingly to what I'm trying to in feed into my camera's uh, rotation. So while I'm moving, I can kind of turn it around. And while I'm moving backwards, I'm doing nothing. But let's say I want to move my camera. But the thing is, because of the auto adjust system, it keeps interfering with each other. So like, if I'm moving a if I move the camera to the left a bit, I want to I want it to just like stay still for um, how I intend it to be. Uh, like I mentioned in the last part of our last video, when the when when the player is playing a game and they want to move around, adjust the camera to a certain uh, rotation that they they desire, they really want to have it in that uh, position and location. And if there's something else that's that keeps interfering with it it does kind of make the controls feel a bit unpolished wonky and unresponsive i guess sometimes so we're we'll be trying to fix this part when basically when the character is moving around and if there is a camera input we're going to prevent the auto adjust system from running for a specific duration of time and then if that time expires we're going to allow the adjustment system to start move, uh, working again and also maybe we can also add a auto uh, defaulting system so to say so for example if this angle and this location is your desired default position and location uh, this default transform of your camera uh, and maybe if you le left it like this and after five seconds you want to kind of move it lerp back interpolate back into this position uh we'll, we're going to need another feature uh implemented for that so we'll check that out first auto rotation condition conditional auto adjustments with the auto adjusting system and then the defaulting system like so so if we go back to the blueprint we were working before on so we had it on tick, and I th and the name is calculate angular angular difference, but then it's actually adjusting it. So we'll just name this to be more appropriate to so auto adjust camera rotation. And then here, our condition we're basically just going to need one more condition before any of this happens, right? So this part, sorry. So the, this part, after this execution, is when the auto adjustment actually is ha it's actually handled. So auto, auto adjustment. And then before this all happens, we basically just want to check, you know, if we want it to happen. Okay, we'll just add another condition and and auto adjust and that's it all that's all we have to do here and we just have to control this variable to be set uh true or false depending on when we want it to be and like i mentioned here we want it to stop so moving when the player actually does something with the camera so if you're we are using the enhanced inputs actually uh enhanced input system uh it's actually really convenient to work on this um so here we have the move and if we're moving you know we're, we're having the adjustment work anyway because of the auto angle adjustment system and here we have the camera input if you have if you've been using the basic third person example character uh you'll have this set up already this is just you can ignore all of this for, for right now 
these are all just set up just so I can show you uh, these the, the joy pads on screen so just uh, consider them non-existent at this point so here if we actually have some camera input by the player here it's going to trigger these events so we're going to look into com uh, start it first just to print string it's going to print out hello so what you can see here is if i'm not moving my cam camera and i'm just moving my character you can see nothing's working uh, you can see that nothing's printing but as soon as i start adding a camera input you can see that hello starts coming in so we can use this uh trigger as the if trigger for the event to set and um set the can auto adjust boolean variable true or false and in this case we want to set it to false because we don't want it to happen so here we put it on started we set can auto adjust to false and then here well i actually accidentally moved so here we can see it's auto adjusting right we can see that as soon as i put in a input it stops auto adjust but of course we don't have it to set back to true again right so how are we going to do that it depends and depending on like what kind of rule you want it to happen to like maybe if the player gets a uh, hit or maybe if the player dies or if the player is attacking or what's not it depends on your game's purpose but for this video we'll just set a timer for it so for example uh, after the auto adjust is on is blocked for a certain amount of time and there isn't any camera input so we kind we can kind of assume that the player is just uh leaving uh thinking of just leaving it all to the movement input and they don't really want to handle the camera then we can set it back so here we can set a camera uh we can set a timer event so here pull out from the can auto adjust set timer by event and then we can create an event by dragging it out from here custom event and we can just call it uh reset I mean, let's make it more and auto adjust again i am not the best with names but just to make it super clear can auto adjust again and then with the time here we can set a time let's say uh three seconds and we can promote this so like with the all with the the other variables we've handled before with so we can kind of create par create them as a parameter so the as a game designer you always want to iterate right so also for this we're going to set a default value of three and then later on while we're testing the game we want to if we want to change something we can just adjust it from uh, the variable tab here so three and we don't want it to be looping because we just want it to happen once right so here and then what we're gonna do this is all we have to do can auto adjust so we'll take a look here we go in nothing's firing right i'm moving around as you can see and then i'm going to move my camera it's auto adjusting you can see from the background i move two three you can see that right so i'm moving here one two three it starts auto adjusting and that's it simple as that you move around and let's just see it in full camera in a few, no, no, full screen move around i'm the player and i kind of wanted to you know move around when i'm moving forward obviously i just let the camera go with the camera as it is and then i when i'm moving backwards i wanted to adjust but then let's say i want to see something uh on that uh point over there on the left far left front i want to keep my perspective on that so if i'm moving the camera to adjust it for at least three seconds you can see the player is provided 100% to keep the angle they desired 
and then if I keep moving around the three second timer is going to be constantly uh, reset until I do nothing for three seconds and then automatically adjusts so plus that and like I mentioned here depending on the time you can just set it back to uh, uh, what's it? Well, yeah, like if you want it to be like really short, you can set it to one. Let's try setting it to one while I'm just gonna use a mouse for now. And then here, nothing moving around. I move one second, move one second. Yeah. And if, like I mentioned, depending on when you want your camera to auto adjust, uh, kick back again can create you can just kind of like set a timer and call or maybe just call this so this is just like a timer uh event so um if you want to adjust it back again in certain and uh force it back the cam if you want to force the camera adjustment auto adjustment again at any time you just have to call this event um that's pretty much it and for the next feature we wanted to go on with is the defaulting value as for that we'll be uh, covering it in the next video i hope this helped and if there's any feedback you'd like to leave or any uh subject of matter any matter that you would like me to cover uh, feel free to leave a comment and i'll definitely look into it thank you